guys uh, welcome to another vlog i'm your girl mishi i'm here today to talk about uh tips on how you can be able to shop in gikomba and the previous video we did we i talked about uh how you tips on how you can start your own thrift store or things you want to sell on your thrift store so today i just want to shed a light on uh things uh or tips you will use when going to shop in Gikomba and as much as I'll talk about that I'll also talk about the timing that I will prefer you go shop if in case you're going to buy things that you want to go and sell but if you want to shop for your personal things also you can do that but I will say if you're shopping for yourself you can take your time to that so I also want to welcome the newbies here. Welcome, 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 welcome. Please don't forget to subscribe, like and comment to our videos. You can also check out more videos that we have in our channel by just clicking to down here where it's written Mishi, Memali Mishi, and then you'll get to our channel and see what we have in our, yeah, in this place. So the first tip I'll talk about is wake up early. By what I mean early, I personally, I wake up at around 5.30, 5 there in between. That gives me a time to prepare myself so that I may be able to leave home by 6 and be in Gikomba at around latest 7, 7.15 there. Because that is the time people open their bills uh you can be able to shop while you can see because that's uh five four three thingy i, I really don't know more about it because i've never gone to gikomba that early but i feel like i am not able to see what i'm shopping and it might be tricky for me so i'll prefer to go before seven being gikomba and yeah you'll see people are opening bills and all that is happening between seven to nine people are opening bells and then the second tip is wear comfortable shoes because when you go to Gikomba you're going to walk you're going to walk and on walk and walk and walk so wear comfortable shoes where uh, I will recommend to wear tight because when shopping for like trousers you want to try them out and tight is more preferable for you to do that also wear just a light jacket because as day goes by there will be sun there will be heat and you really don't want to carry a big jacket and which will be giving you a hard time to carry it as you're walking around the fourth the third tip is carry a shopping bag or carry a good a good quality bag that will be able to put what you are shopping in Gikomba. So I'll recommend if you're carrying the carrier bags, carry those heavy bags, not the ones for 20 bob or for 10 bobs, not those, those ones. The ones that, like you see these branded bags, like for Quick Mart, uh, Naivas, yeah, you can carry those ones, which will, be, which will be more better for you. And carry a very big bag, which will be able to put a lot of things in one bag. The fourth thing is carry carry your sling bag okay i'll say sling bag but be careful some people cut the sling bags and they go with the sling bags and you won't even notice your bag is missing so when you're carrying your sling bag carry a very small sling bag that you may be able to put your phone and your money and be careful about that because you really don't know who will who will cut your bag or will cut from the down part and everything will fall down so be very careful when you're walking in Gikomba and just take care of your things because some people might pretend they are putting your shopping in your bag and then they literally not putting anything and you end up paying for things you have not even carried at home so be careful if I'll recommend if you you buy something be the one to put it in the bag to be sure it's there because I've once experienced being paying for something and not getting it when I get at home. So just be on a safer side. The fifth, oh, in the fifth, the fifth, the fifth tip is when shopping, 
and shopping for like trousers i'll recommend get something bigger which can be able to like resize it and like something smaller you can't totally do anything about it because it's so small and something big you can be able to like reduce it and the good thing about it there there are those tailors down uko gikomba uko ndani bado wako waneza kurisize ya to your size they can they can be able to shape it for you the way you want it so you if you see something nice that is big you can get it and then they resize it for you and for dresses be careful always check the distance between your shoulders and the waist that's that distance and from the waist to the knees because it can be so you can see it's a nice dress but it's so small to like to also look like a top when you wear it you feel like it's a dress top and your intention was to get a dress so when you shop for dress be on, a, on that be, be careful and consider looking at those things that have said from shoulder to the tummy and from the tummy to the knees that distance it needs to be like to, a little bit equal or from the waist to the knees it be a little bit longer yeah another tip so i've written my tips down here that's why i'm looking down another tip is when you're going to the market i really prefer you go either alone or with one person who maybe may, might be your mirror as you're trying out the clothes because you need someone to give you like in a couple uh, he mm, i don't feel the vibe yeah you need like someone who will be your mirror i have once shopped alone i got a long coat and when i got home i really didn't like it <laughs> anymore because i was not able to see myself and another thing don't carry a crew of people because everyone has different uh different ideas and different comments so maybe some might be supporting that maybe the dress looks nice and another one it's like mm, i don't feel the vibe about it so i'll prefer go with one person who will be your mirror and will be able to give to give you the comment about what you're shopping another thing is separate your shopping money <laughs> separate your shopping money from your fare because sometimes you end up shopping with all the money and then you have to now go look for where you can withdraw your money and all that because you already finished the money that you had so i'll advise you separate the fare aside and then have your shopping budget aside so that when you when you are about to finish your money you'll know if you have already got whatever you want to, so that you can know when to put a stop to, from shopping because you can shop and shop and shop in gikoma you can shop and shop and shop until your money is over <laughs> it happened once to me and i had to trek from gikoma to town to figure it out and i said i'll never do that again i'll just be always putting my money aside from my shopping money another tip is always check the clothes because sometimes they have holes they have stains i'll give you an example i shopped from for this uh, this is a animal print of a jumpsuit it's really pretty but i notice here in the hand it's torn you see and then here in the pocket i didn't even see i for this one for the hands i was ready to do to stitch it but for this one now it's at the pocket you see that car hole there i can totally do nothing about this clothes it's just done and this this thingy here so when you're shopping be careful i also notice some there's small small holes like look at this one they're so small you can't even see it when you're trying it out so be careful when shopping for such i also got a very nice white dress but this dress has a stain a red stain i didn't even notice that i thought it will come off but it's not i don't know if you'll be able to see it but it's really it has a very bad stain here 
a red one let me feel be able to see yeah always look for those stains that they cannot come out and the yellow yellowish stains also consider that like that don't buy something with a yellow stain especially the stain if if the stain is from this side to this side don't take it because that stain is permanent if a stain is on one side then that you can bargain about it but if the stain is two sides don't don't take such a thing because it totally won't come out another thing is so i think i've finished my tips tips but another thing is i'll advise you don't go with the brokers because you just go in the market and walk and walk and stand to where you'll find something you like shop there or check gikomba unaenda ukikuwa na nguvu unue kila kitu unue kila kitu check and check and check until you find something you want don't go with the brokers because watakulia ka kitu ju so if something it's like 250 they'll say it's 300 that 50 bob you could have saved and you buy something else for 50 bob so just go alone Go with someone who mwenye maybe anajua gikomba kidogo ama go with someone hata mkipotea mko mko pamoja mnaweza figure it out together so i think that's the end of my video if you have not subscribed and you've reached here kindly check down here and subscribe like my video comment and tell me what more you like to know about thrifting uh, gikomba or any market you want me to talk about I am, that I'm familiar with, I'll talk about it or anything you'll want to know about uh, online business, thrifting, handling a thrifting store, coming up with content and all that, I'll be able to share with you. Anyways, see you. See you, see you.